What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tamika, and I'm coming to you from my home here in Georgia. And you know, I told you guys, I said, when I, um, eventually, I'm going to do a video about your circle, right? So, you know, um, during, you know, I have a lot of stuff that just happened, you know, in the, not even like a month, like a few weeks ago. And I um, kind of like had to break ties with some pretty close people. And when I say pretty close, I mean really close. The reason why is because when you start doing good for yourself, when you start, when you think you're on the right path, when you know you're on the right path, of course, all of these little bricks and potholes and all of this stuff is going to come to you to try to throw you off guard, you know, knock you off your path, keep you off your balance or whatever. But it's up to you if you allow that to happen. So with me, you know, I've been doing my own business for a minute now, but I just, you know, recently started doing um, an online internet business, which is, you know, pretty good. You know, don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing it and I plan on retiring here uh, this year. So once someone shows you that other side, they kind of show you like, well, I'm not really for you and, you know, you need me to help you do what? Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm not available. Stuff like that. When you have something, you have to watch that circle because sometimes people will pull you down as sure as you trying to struggle and climb your way up to the top. People, someone is there to pull on that coattail and try to hold you down or keep you exactly where you are. And that's not what you need because if you ever want to be successful, if you want to do the things that you like doing or enjoy doing or love doing it, you're going to have to let some people go. Regardless how close you are, regardless how you think that person been there for you for the longest, you're going to have to let some people go because if you can't help them get to where you are, but if they want to steady tell you, um, you don't change because you're not doing this and we want to go out to the club and you can't go to the club with us. Well, if you can't hang out with us, well, no, I can't do this for you and stuff like that. When you're, when they instead of them saying, you know, what, I'm happy for you. Is there anything that I can do to make your load a little easier, a little lighter? Is there something I can do to possibly help you out? Do you need me to watch your kids? Do you need me to come over and bring you something to eat? Whatever. Or you know what? Better yet. Show me what you're doing so I can help or uh, or I can start doing it myself. Stuff like that. If you don't have anybody trying to bring themselves up or help you up, don't let, allow anybody, not anybody, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, your kids. You better tell them kids, they better get your butt up and watch what I'm doing so we can all make money. And like your sister, your brother, your mama, your daddy, your grandparents, whoever. If, no, if they are not trying to help you, I'm not saying kick them to the curb. Don't ever talk to them or nothing like that. But you have to make sure you kind of keep them off a little because you don't want them to throw you off your path with their negativity. That's something I don't play. I'm sorry. Um, Just recently, a guy hit me up in my inbox and he was asking me all of this stuff. Like, um, I mean, he was just being negative. Oh, my gosh. I never in my life seen such a negative person. But when I heard that... <clears throat> It um the way he were he he worded things in his email let me know that it was something bigger that was bothering him. So you know I didn't get up, I didn't get upset with him. And I like, you know, first time I read, I'm like, dang. I'm like, what email did he read? So um, you know, I kind of overlooked I I was going to reply to him, but I kind of I was in the middle of doing something else, so I kind of forgot to do it that day. Um, one of my other video, one of my other, um, emails went out. So he responded again and I'm like, wow, he was always saying, I don't have any money. I'm broke. Um, I can't pay my light bill. I don't have any food on a table. And here you are asking me to do this and do that. And I'm like, guy, okay. If you don't, if you no longer want to receive my emails, unsubscribe. It's right there below the email. Hit the little button, unsubscribe, period. You didn't unsubscribe. What does that let you know? If a person does not unsubscribe to something that they do not want, that lets you know that they want it. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, guys, I said, okay. I said, I understand your frustration with this other company, whoever it is. I understand your frustration with Visa. I understand your frustration. You want to go to the police. Why do you want to go to the police about something that you could have avoided? This, your, your mistakes are nobody else's mistakes but your own. You cannot blame people 
all the time for stuff that you are fully responsible for. You made the decision. You failed to research. You failed to do whatever it is that you needed to do. And now you want to blame someone else and involve the police officers. First of all, you cannot involve the police and say something is a fraud when other people are being very successful and doing something that you were once trying to do. Like, if you're not willing to try, you cannot have anybody else arrested or prosecuted or even, I don't know, you can't, you cannot blame people for your failure if you're the cause of your failure. Sorry. After I kind of like broke him down a little bit, not being mean at all, I kind of broke him down a little bit and told him like, you know, you had to man up and take responsibility of your own choices. And um, I'm now very surprised after that email, he like, you know what, um, you're right. My son told me I was being very negative and he actually moved. I think this guy stayed in Portugal or somewhere. And his son moved to, well, whatever, somewhere in Asia. What I don't know. I forgot where he moved to. So, um, and he like, and that's the reason why my son said he moved away. He said I was very negative. And I'm like, well, I can see that. He said, so I am willing to change. Thank you um, for, you know, talking to me and stuff like that. <laughs> and it kind of hit home because I'm like, you know, I'm glad that I can talk to someone without being, you know, just rude or downright ugly to him or just say, you know, what F off, go blank yourself or whatever. I didn't say any of that stuff to him. What I said, you know, you had to change your thought process. You can't, don't say what you can't do. Don't say what you don't have. If you want it, you have it. It's yours. You just not to go and take it from nobody else, guys. Don't get me twisted. But I'm saying that whatever you think and whatever you dream of, whatever your goals are, you can you can achieve those. We all can achieve them. But you first have to change your mindset. You have to get on board with your thoughts. Your, your, your The words that you say have to align with your thought process. Because if you think in one way and you speak in a different way, that's confusing. So, you know, things are like uh, this negative and this positive energy fight against each other and trying to see which one can win. And if you have any kind of negativity in your in your in your um, mind frame, it's the negativity is going to win. You're not going to get it because you don't have any belief. Your faith level is like almost gone, obsolete. So you need to get that on track first. Don't never let a person throw you off guard. If they're not for you guys, kick them out your circle. Sorry. You can have a square on the outside of your circle. You can have a triangle on the outside of your circle. But just don't keep anything negative. You only need positive. You only look plus signs in your circle, okay? <laughs> so um, that's my thing. Like my circle, guys, when I tell you my circle is very small. Oh, it's small. Very small. Like my kids are in my circle. And I have friends. They don't live here in Georgia, of course. But um, I have family members that you know, are, excuse me, they are down for me, you know, they're here when I need them. Um, if not, they can help me or, you know, provide resources. If I say, oh, I need this, and they're like, okay, well, go there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, just just be careful, always be careful. Um, that's all I have, so I will talk to y'all later. Have a blessed night.